Thank you. Mr Daniel Hatt has the floor. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. People often don't realise the extent to which the European Union aggressively exports its ideology, just as the US did after the Second World War, just as the Soviet Union did during the revolutionary times. So the European Union attempts to encourage other parts of the world to form regional blocs in mimicry of its own structures. It doesn't just make its aid dependent on reproductive rights and so on. It very often, and far more damagingly, requires countries to be part of whatever regional bloc is nearby. It makes clear that it won't sign trade or aid deals with individual sovereign states, but will only deal bloc to bloc. People often don't realize the extent to which organizations like Mercosur, the Central American Union, the African Caribbean and Pacific Union are not just bodies encouraged by the European Union, but were really creatures of the EU, sponsored by the Commission and largely dependent on it for their financing, which creates this beautifully circular argument for European federalists. We have to be part of this big bloc because that's what the rest of the world is doing, of course, when they are obliging the rest of the world to do so. In reality, it's the little countries that are doing well. The wealthiest countries in the world are the Monacos, the UAEs. In the top ten, only one state has a population of seven million. It's by being this large elephantine presence that we've made ourselves poorer and less relevant.